good YouTube? You're now tuning in to the Infamous World Network and it's your host, the Infamous Jerez, back at you again with another upload. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and also make sure to like this video. Your boy would really appreciate that. While you're at it, make sure to finesse the bell so you can get a notification every time I drop a new upload to YouTube. And also make sure to drop a comment, tell the kid what's up, let me know your thoughts on the videos. Now that we got that out the way, if you're into social medias, you can catch me on Instagram at underscore infamous world network. On my Instagram account, I post on my story daily sneaker stuff. And I also post thumbnails to my videos, trailers to my videos, and just everyday sneaker stuff. Now with all of that being said, gang, today we have a different type of upload. I'm gonna drop a upcoming shoes that are coming up in the following weeks and or rumors that I'm particularly into hopefully you guys enjoy my taste of shoes that I'm gonna drop on your head top right now I'm gonna drop a couple bangers on you all right so first off we have on October 12th of this year for $110 there is supposed to be a collaboration with Nike SB and Gundam Gundam is a old anime if you're not too familiar I'm gonna drop some pictures on your head top. Hopefully you'll remember. Uh, but it's a Gundam X Nike SB Dunk High Project Unicorn RX Zero. Uh, the official colorway is white and arm armello armello. Very interesting word. Uh, but that's the official colorway. So the upper of the shoe is uh, mainly white with hits of black and red stitching. The shoe also has this nice little unicorn hit on the side. Uh, it looks like the back has hits of black as well. And the shoe has a crazy gold yellowish Nike swoosh that is also removable. So that's kind of lit. Maybe you can spin it around. Put it in a funky way, but the Nike sign is removable, which is kind of cool. The shoe is also coming out in a alternate black colorway that is going to be mainly black and gray with red hits and that same kind of golden yellowish Nike sign that is removable. Me personally, I like the black pair a lot better than the white pair, but I do believe both pairs are gonna sell out and both pairs, and I do believe both pairs look good too, if we're being honest. The black pair also, just like the white pair, has a unicorn hit on it as well in red, which is dope. The boxes on these shoes are really crazy too, like SB and Nike, they really went all out. There's a red box and a black box. Like, just look at these boxes, man. It's like, it just makes me wanna go turn on Toonami like it's the early 2000s and go watch Gundam and nerd it out. These boxes are super clean, man. To anybody that hits on these, you're gonna be a lucky individual. Also, there's rumors that some pairs are gonna come with the Gundam action figures. Uh, and the white one is supposed to have on the white pair of Gundam Dunks. And the black one is supposed to have the black pair of Gundam Dunks on. I don't know if that's going to be true. Man, like if I don't get these shoes, I at least just want one of these Gundam action figures. Like they're really dope. Uh, another rumor is that uh, my man Virgil, the, the head of Off-White, is going to be having a collaboration with Nike again. This time he's going to be collaborating on the Nike Air Force One Mids, which is very different because everybody's been on the lows for the Air Force Ones lately that's been like it's been like cracking the streets in the 80s like all the white girls got white Air Force Ones man it's crazy like <laughs> you can't even walk into Foot Locker no more and get a pair of Air Force Ones that's how hype they are like that's nuts that's off topic but Virgil's collaborating with Nike the Air Force One mids to be making some off whites there is renders or pictures of a black mid top pair and a white mid top pair they kind of seem to have these translucent or see-through panels around the toe box and the ankle we'll see if when the shoes come out if they actually have that the shoe could change a lot for all we know and it has the nice off white branding on it the shoes are very interesting um, I know these shoes are gonna be immediate sellouts because the Nike off-white hype is through the roof these days. Me personally, I would pass on both of these. I'm not a fan of the Nike Air Force One mid and like the shoe, like it's nice, but it's just like, I just don't like the shoe model. Colorway is fresh though. If you are filling these shoes, I would say get them. You could definitely be a stepper in these. They're pretty fly. Also, there's been more rumors of Travis Scott making more Travis Scott collabs with the Air Jordan 1 
which has been very interesting because he just dropped the the uh, Fragment collab about a month ago, two months ago. He just dropped a high top pair of Nike Jordan 1 Fragments and a low top pair if you're not in the loop. Um, but there's been more rumors that he is going to drop more of these Air Jordan 1 collabs. We'll see when these actually come, uh, but there has been rumors of more of these. I've seen pictures of black and white ones. Um, I've seen pictures of white and black uh, low tops. I've also seen, I've seen pictures of reverse mochas. They've looked pretty interesting. The reverse mochas have looked a lot better than uh, the black and white ones in my opinion uh, but we'll see what actually comes out because these are rumors so you know we're getting around that good time of year where uh, Nike SB drops a lot of their dope holiday drops there's gonna be a super dope uh, Halloween drop there's gonna be the Christmas drop they're both gonna be sick as can be. Um, I love around this time of year when Nike SB does the collabs. For Christmas, there's gonna, or like holiday, whatever, there's gonna be this really cool, like icy low top dunk, man. Like, look at these pictures. Like, whoo, this shoe is so fresh, dog. I will slide down a chimney in these. Like, it has this, like, super icy gray upper man like it literally looks like it's snow on top of it like i just want to touch it and feel it and really get all up in that and see what that shoe is like and it has these sick little elf hits on the side and they're in the sleigh the outsole is icy freaking the back heel tab has like these little like i don't even know what you call them like elf stuff flags i don't even know it has a dope little elf hit on one of the toe boxes the snowflake under the nike sign on the back of the heel tab it has like the snowflakes on the outsole nah this shoe is crazy Whew. gang the, the, that shoe is crazy man like if you're not feeling those man Oof, those are the type of Nikes I'm into, like, those are the type of Nike dunks that really hit for me, the real nutty ones, not the regular Deglers, like these, those, those might be a must for the kids. So, Nike, uh, as I touched on earlier, Nike's also been showing pictures, leaking pictures of another holiday collab, so I guess these might be one of their Halloween drops. There's been a lot of pictures of these Nike SB Dunk Lows that have this mummy vibe to them. I'm about to show you them. These are real nutty. Y'all might not be into them, but man, look at these. So here you got the Nike SB Dunk Low Pro Mummies. Like it has like, like the upper on the shoe is literally like this mummy canvas type of material. Like it literally looks like you could just rip it off and take the mummy's wraps off. So that's super dope. The midsole is like this glow in the dark, kind of creepy green. So it kind of adds to the Halloween vibe. The laces are, you know, they're just like a cream lace, like a gray kind of Nike swoosh. The whole midsole is glow in the dark, which is super nutty. The shoe also has like these like mummy eyes on the back of the heel. And the uh, and that like mummy eyes part glows in the dark too, which is super cool. So it's like it's like the mummy's looking right at you, man. Some return of the mummy vibes. These Nike SB uh, mummies are so fresh. Like I, I've been seeing pictures of these for months now, and I'm still going crazy about these. Like months ago, I was sending them to my sneaker group chats and sending them to my group chats with the boys and stuff. And now there's even more pictures, and I'm still seeing them, and I'm still like, damn, those mummy dunks. Those mummy dunks are hard. All right, so also, there's already a confirmed release date for these. If you don't already know, let me inform you. This year for the holiday drop for Jordan Brand, Jordan Brand is bringing back one of their bangers that me and all 11 fans and Jordan fans have really been waiting for patiently, which is the return of the of the Air Jordan 11 high cool gray colorway. The last time Jordan Brand blessed us with this colorway was way back, all the way back in December of 2010. Some of these new hype beasts wasn't even alive when those came out. So like the cool gray, it's been 11 years since the shoe has came out. 
We've all been waiting for this shoe. Thankfully, I still got my 2010 pair and I hold that pair real close to my heart. My pair is still icy. I still love wearing them. But I can't wait to get a new pair. Um, I'm not gonna lie, when I wear my pair, like I knew I do wear them. So they're wearable, but I do still get scared that my pair is gonna rip. My pair hasn't ripped and my pair is still very minty. Um, so I love the Air Jordan Cool Gray 11 and I love cool gray colorways there's so many dope air jordans with the cool gray colorway and then this year the cool gray 11 is going to be getting a dope box as well so I was, that's a plus as well the shoe seems to have the higher patent leather cut that they've been doing more recently on air jordan 11 highs which is dope classic colorway Whew. It's the cool gray 11 kids. Uh, Jordan brand is also supposed to be bringing back another classic colorway uh, this February. They're supposed to be dropping the, or not dropping, retroing the Air Jordan 12 playoff. Um, this shoe is a mainly black and white upper with some hits of red, if you don't already know. But the Air Jordan 12 playoff is a classic colorway. It's very simple, it's not really loud. You know, it's definitely wearable. And that's what we look for in our kicks. We look for shoes that are wearable. And these shoes are very wearable. It's a white and black colorway. The Air Jordan 12 is a beautiful shoe model. Uh, there's a lot of colorways on the Air Jordan 12 that hit. And one of them is the Playoff 12s. So I'm looking forward to these Playoff 12s coming out. I remember when these came out, I was in high school. And a lot of my homies had them and I wanted them but I never got them. And so more than likely come this February, I'm probably gonna fill that void in my uh, childhood memories and probably get those playoff 12s. But we'll see what comes uh, around that time. But I know for sure I'm getting a cool gray 11s. They're already on the hit list and you guys already know about the hit list. These shoes have been on my hit list ever since they came out. And uh, once you on the hit list, it's only a matter of time before you get scratched off. I'm coming for you. I really hope you guys enjoyed those shoes and or sneaker rumors that I was speaking about uh, throughout this video. Big shout outs to everybody that watched the whole video from beginning to end. I really appreciate you and I appreciate everybody that didn't as well. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also make sure to like this video and while you're at it, drop a comment. Tell the kid what's up. Tell me if you like the video, which one of these upcoming shoes you're looking forward to which one of these rumors you're interested in. So, you know, just let me know your thoughts in your comments. With that being said, this is the Infamous World Network. It's your host, Infamous Jerez. We're signing out.